Welcome back to Let's Play Ghost of a Tale. Last time I discovered exactly how deadly this place really is. This time, yeah, uh, he doesn't seem to give a shit. So I'm just going to pop in here and do a quick save. Because I am about 95% sure that that purple smoke over there means there's another one of those gall worms waiting to eat me. Ah! Is it keeping track of that? Maybe I'll manually load that. Nope! Time's detected by guards. Okay. Fortunately, we were given some pine cones, which can apparently solve the problem. A small incendiary bomb, made by leaving a fir cone to soak in suspension of brissants, until the mineral crystallizes between the cone's scales. The cone is then sealed within a thin shell of clay, except that I can clearly see it isn't. That's a good fucking way to ring the house down. Yeah, I don't think armor would have done me any good in that situation. What's this? Fair. Oh, I never actually read this, did I? Just checking. Uh, okay, fine. A list of coastal towns and a status of Red Paw Forces stationed there. A report compiled monthly by the Red Paw detailing the present security status of each settlement or port along Valia's southeastern shore. Port Skarn. Baladonian, Baladonian uh, cargo vessel hijacked. Vessel sunk inside port wall. Altercation at Quay 5 between Shrew and Weasel crews. 13 arrests. Shrews are a lot smaller than weasels. That's uh, impressive that they'd even pick that fight. Or they'd even take part in that fight. Mind you, they do notoriously not give a shit about anything. They will bite anything. Uh, Belquay. Minor incidents of thievery reported 110 arrests. Pyram's Landing. Minor smuggling activities reported. Additional night patrols recommended. Dwindlin Heights. All quiet. Yarton on Threve. Quarantine on Yarton ex extended for further for a further 21 days. 19 new cases of Lassa fever reported. That's uncomfortable. Um, Thrum patrol reports wild sunder crabs now rampaging through the ruins of Thrum. Remaining villagers have finally abandoned their homes. Jeez. Garrison Commander confir- uh, Panbury, sorry. Garrison Commander confirms additional forces from Yuva, proving effective in quelling dissent. Panbury Garrison remains on high alert. Oh. Ah, that's good water. Gadwell. Rat Guard contingent reassigned from Gadwell to deal with incidents at Skerritt, Thrum, and Panbury. Red Paw presence minimal. I thought the Rat Guard were the Red Paw. Uh, Skerritt. Seven merchant mice assailed on the Skerritt Road, their wares stolen. Additional guards arriving this week to provide escort. I'm surprised they give a shit. Castlebrook. All quiet. Alright, that actually was a bit more interesting than I expected, but now I have no choice but to walk over there and see if I get my head bitten off. Great. That's one... Mind if I do? Oh, I don't like this. Wait a minute. 
son of a bitch. It's just the other side of that. That was the same dude who bit my head off the first time. I'll just uh, take that off your hands. Rest in peace. Yes, description. Oh, and I'm wearing it. Oh, that does look quite nice, actually. Uh, no, no, no. Sorry, just checking. Uh... I should probably take that. Oh, wow. I can't see that at all. Oh, there it is, yeah. Oh, it blends in really well. What if I get a stronger light on it? Alright, that helps a lot, but... Shout out to K.O.R. Who, uh... Suggested that very tactic. Let me see if I remember this correctly. After... I had actually, uh, done it from someone else's comment. But before that episode went live, so, you know, points for trying. Oh. Oh, I'm in here now. I don't think I should have done that. Ah! Ah! Oh, no. Oh, no. This is bad. I'm stuck. Where even was... Ah! Um, no, I'm stuck in the wall. God damn it. Oh, uh, shit. Son of a bitch, I was before I actually did anything. Okay, that should about do it. Uh, yes, that was just that, so I don't need to worry about that. I just snuck around back to the front, collected that hat for the third time. Actually, I think I'm just as uh, poison-resistant with this thing on. Let's not lock up with uh, the flame hat on, though, in case it makes it blow up. Okay. And with that done... Take... no, nah, there we go. No take backsies! The hat is mine, the gall worm is dead. I guess I should probably take this. It's almost certainly like a quest item, right? How did you get stuck in this thing, though? Really, it's... Look how narrow this platform is. Ooh, maybe he dragged it there after getting it caught in his foot somewhere else. He's pretty big. Right here's where that worm was. What in the fuck is that? Sudden movements. Oops. Oh, it's a 
I thought those were hands. No, that's just a pile of skulls. It's like that one there curling around the edge. I thought those were fingers. Oh, I don't like this. Not one little bit. That's a lot of fumes over there. Everybody gets rid of the two candles and some florins. What? No. Multiple things. That's confusing to me. <clears throat> um... reminds me of uh, that underground city I kept coming across in uh, in Thief. Dweenland's urn. A fine urn containing some of Dweenland's earthly remains. You notice an inscription Engraved around the urn's base, fate makes heroes of the least of us. Well, here we fucking go. That makes me feel slightly better. That wasn't locked. So those presumably weren't the gates to the Great Hall. What in the fuck? Oh no, it's just a brazier. That needs to be opened with a heavy urn. Uh oh! Wrong muton. That wasn't a good fucking noise at all. Okay, let's not go there. Uh, fuck that. Let's go check out that other flashy light. Or, oh, oh, no, no. I honestly have no idea what I'm going to do. I can't spend my grenades on it. I feel like the sticks aren't going to do anything. The wet, meaty slapping of these feet does not fill me with confidence in this place. Ooh, that was neat. Oh. I'm just going to assume you're dead. Oh, look, it's surrounded by corpses. Let's see what they did there, except this one's got his head on. If I only had that pickaxe. Uh, just checking to see if they- OH GOD! Oh, well, that's not ideal. I didn't even see that there. Oh, and they put him right next to the mushroom, so even if I had, I might not have noticed. That's very, very clever. You can go to hell. Did that look like he just threw it on the ground directly at his feet and nothing happened to him, to anyone else?
Now I never have to eat another Granny Smith apple again. Let's put that fucking thing away. Actually, let's get this out. What's the point of this corner? You know what? I can just go around. I'll do that. Now that I've blown that guy up. I'll just grab this and wait for the thing to clear so that I can see what's in there. Stairs. Mother f It's starting to feel like the fucking Sideshow Bob rake gag. Okay, eat some mushrooms. Put Faustus's hat on. I have two left. Grumble, grumble, grumble. I think I passed another one of these earlier. I'm expecting to, like, run into the ghost who's going to give me a quest to collect those. Incidentally, that's my current theory. Even here, fuck the man. Stubbornly insisting on uh, not doing it until I get told to do. I got one of each. Isn't that enough? Huh. The design complements the other one. I wonder if they were together or something. Oh, that's just nothing. I should have the... Oh, I do have the sticks in my hand. Good. Piss drink. I've just come all the way around. How about those plates on bare feet? Really, really pinch, too. Okay, yeah, that's probably a much better way to come in. Uh, you and you and you. And you know what? Just you, even though it's not as good as the minstrel hat. It just makes me feel better. Fuck me, I don't want to go in there. I haven't seen any buckets or anything I could hide in. Can I hide in those goddamn coffins? I mean, that's really messed up, but... If it's that, or just die and redo everything again... No, not quite everything. That's right, I, uh... Saved this time. I don't know. Where was that last one I could search? Oh, here it is. No. Shit. Okay, fine. I just remember that there was a second one. Noted. Oh god, sorry! Yeah, this doesn't feel right, you guys. I feel like if I dedicated my life to my kingdom, I would want more than just my severed head shoved into an alcove on the wall to remember me by. Oh, fucking hell. I don't know, I guess I'm gonna try throwing a bottle at him. to the wall. And the camera gets funny here, so... Oh, God! Oh, 
Okay, uh, you and you. Alright, you fucker. Oh. It's not locking on. Oh, I see what I was supposed to do there. Like, lure him into the trap. Fine. Getting out of this dude's grave. This is not my job. Uh... It would be very funny to me if I could play a song and recruit an army of spiders. Fucking Bremen town. No, no, it was Hamelin where the guy led the vermin away. The Pied Piper of Hamelin, yes. I never really understood the moral of that story was. If you try to screw someone out of a contract, he will be fully, uh, excused in stealing your children, I guess? Oh, lord. Oh, no, wait, that's right. It's, uh, actually got better poison resistance this way. Ah! Alright, here we fucking go. Get some! I guess it worked. Let me check for a pulse. Yup, it's dead. Oh no. He's been skeletonized already? And spiders don't even eat flesh, they just drink your juices. Oh, I like how it's like kind of shitty and uh uncertain. I don't know if that actually helps me in any con real way, but uh Well, that's one. Uh... The fuck? Oh, the green flame. That's what's going on there. Skeletons rising out of the green flame. Well, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Ghost of a Tale. This is, uh, really, really dangerous. But I'm hoping that, uh, I can still manage to get through this. Later.